hello 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 welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is her it is the it is who it is rosie rosette 2020 pal now listen i know i do these videos for the views or whatever i'm telling you anything that i put kevin samuels on is going to get at least 100 views i'm not lying i don't know why and it seems like his minions are the only ones that leave comments and i like that Anyway, so listen, I saw Kevin Samuels on the phone. I think it's the one with the the cougar, the delusional cougar video. He's so rude. I don't know why that man is so rude. Maybe that's a part of his skit. Maybe that's why he has like half a million, half a million followers, okay, on YouTube. And I only have 400. <laughs> I got 400 video um, subscribers. Anyway, so this lady was trying to check him, and he just lashed out. It's as if it's as if he's it's a boiling pot. Remember how you know our grandmothers used to have the pots on the stove, and it was boiling, and then you know when it was ready, it would. A tea kettle, tea kettle. He's like a tea kettle. You know, it's like the pressure is mounting and mounting and mounting. And then he just pops. You know, he'll like ask a question, whatever. But the fact that he's like, you don't over talk me. Who do you think you are? You don't call up on my show and over talk me or loud talk me. No, you got another thing coming. He sounds like a bitch. He really does. Kevin Samuel sounds like a bitch. He does. I don't understand. Where does he get that? Like he's very controlling. But see, he didn't talk like that when he was on Joe Budden's um, podcast. Nor when he was on Tasha Kay's. See, he didn't have all that. And he shouldn't because he's in somebody else's space or house or whatever. And of course, you don't, you know, disrespect him or whatever. But the disrespect he gives to this woman, I don't understand why women call into them. Him. Maybe they want the glory. Maybe they want the shine. Maybe they like being disrespected. Maybe they like being controlled. Maybe they like being cursed out. I don't know. But let me tell you, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because, baby, I'd be talking about his mama, his grandmama, you know, his booty, everything. I just, I don't understand why people are giving him the recollection now listen i know <clears throat> again some of the stuff that he does say is valid but it's just how he says it and how he says it and then i think you know what i think it is i think he has a issue with bigger is his mother big was his mother fat was his mother low value like does he have issues does he have mommy issues you know how women have daddy issues does kevin samuel it's kevin samuels does he have mommy issues is this mom alive because i'd hate to you know inquire about somebody who's not even with us anymore but i i just think that something happened when he was little or something that he saw or he hated the fact that you know he was raised around women or that he didn't have enough male um uh, mentors or you know um, <clears throat> not male mentors but uh, male oh god I can't think of the word anyway <sighs> any males to show him how to be a man so maybe he's stuck in you know want to be wanting to be masculine but being very condescending to women because he can't really be condescending to men. But I think he said he was worse, I guess, in the beginning when he first started doing YouTube or his consulting or whatever to men. <clears throat> and he used to really be bad on them. And, well, that's one thing for a black man to be harsh on a black man. Okay, we get that. Men can handle that. But for him to be so rude to women, I just don't get it. And then, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he date Tommy? 
Wait a minute. Did Kevin Samuels date Tommy from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? Hold on, hold on. Now listen, I'm not putting anything against Tommy. But for him to talk all that mess about women and then for him to allegedly date Tommy, isn't Tommy like a convicted felon? Does Tommy have um, custody of her kids? Like, didn't she just get out of jail time? Didn't, isn't Tommy the lady who uh, was dating, you know, um, a convicted drug dealer or someone who kidnapped her, something, something like that? Didn't, you know, isn't she into threesomes? Didn't she, you know, have a threesome with Jocelyn and, you know, just, uh, just, okay, so you won't talk all that mess about all these beautiful black women who haven't done anything to you but yet you and Tommy listen Tommy is a beautiful woman Tommy is absolutely gorgeous but dude you can't be talking all this mess to all these women and you kicking it with Tommy not only did you kick it Tommy left you he couldn't satisfy Tommy so again, I told you, it's not height that may be the problem. It might be the length. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. But his videos are something else. I just, I just, I just. And they are funny, but they're sad. They're sad in the same way, but oh my goodness, honey, his minions, boy, honey, they got that video that I did with I had the red hair and the red makeup or whatever, baby, that's at 1600. Now, I know that, you know, some of his videos, most of the people who comment on him are at 20 and 100 and two and 300,000 viewers or whatever, but you know, I'm just a little YouTuber. I, I'm happy with my 400 subscribers or whatever. So for me to get a 1600 um, view video and oh baby, his minions are coming at me and I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys keep commenting, keep viewing it or whatever, baby. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here. I am here for it. What I'm not here for, though, is the disrespect. Again, I can't reiterate that enough. The disrespect that Kevin Samuels deals out to black women regarding our weight. And listen, I understand, honey, we got some big sisters, but guess what? There's some big white girls. There's some big Asian girls. There's some big Mexican girls. It's all kinds of big girls. And... <laughs> <clears throat> a man of value. What exactly is his definition of a man with value? Is it the financial? Is it the mental? Is it the physical? Is it the health? Like, what is a man of value? What is the proper definition of a man in, of value? Isn't, isn't beauty in the eyes of the beholder? There's so many women actually truth be told there's more sisters big sisters that are married there's more i would say there's more women who are healthy who are obese that are married than women who are slimmer who are married married does that make sense so, I, you know, I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm sure there's more men, women that are married that wear nails, that wear makeup, that wear wigs. The women who don't wear any of that and who are single. So, I, I, I just don't know where he gets these statistics. Or is it his opinion? But what is his opinion based on? He's been married twice and he's divorced twice. He's not even married. At least Steve Harvey is married. Three, four, five times. You know, mistresses and all that. You know what I'm saying. But come on. Kevin Samuels, dude, you're not even married. Are you even in a stable relationship? Like, what was your last, what's, what was the longest relationship outside of marriage since you've been married? 
Like, help me out. Help me out. But I know you minions. I know you guys are going to comment. So bring it on. Bring it on. I like his minions. Well, I don't like them, but I like their comments. I like the clap back. Clap back. Clap back. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.